enthusiast, it's your host Tom Cogswell here from Horizon Hobby for another quick hit tech tip tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking to you about how to program your ESCs with the Firma Prog menu on your DX5s. Uh, so this includes the DX5Cs, the DX5Rs, the DX5 Ruggeds, and the DX5 Pro like we're going to be using for the example here. You do need to make sure that your radio is up to date. If you're running the latest 2021 edition of the DX5 Pro, you will already have this update. But essentially, if you have any of those other ones, you need to make sure you're uh, uh, version 1.09 or higher. And that will allow you to have access to this new menu. Also, you need to make sure that you're using a Firma Smart ESC and a compatible Smart receiver like the SR315 we have here. You do not need to have a smart battery. I just have this on the table. And the ESCs that conclude this are pretty much all of them, but the Firma 40 amp. So it even includes the crawler ESC, which is, this is a great option for the crawler ESC because there's only two ways to program that ESC. It's either with the programming box or with the Smart Link programmer app where you can plug it into your computer. If you guys need help updating your radios or your ESC, go ahead and check out our description below. I'll have links to those videos for you to be able to do that if you choose to do so or if you need to. So, like I said, this is a great option for programming your ESCs on the fly with your transmitter. And really, all you need to do is plug it in and it's ready to go. So if it's up to date, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our ESC here. We'll turn it on. And we'll take a look at our radio. All right, so we're looking at our DX5 Pro here. I've got it all turned on and bound up to our receiver and our ESCs bound up and connected. And we're gonna go to the firmer prog menu. So some people might think, okay, you click on the scroll wheel and you look for it. Oh wait, it's not there, hmm, okay. It's actually not in the menu list or the function list. It is part of the telemetry. So if we go to our main screen and we move our scroll wheel down, we're gonna go through the pages here. And the last one you get to, sometimes you gotta get it just right, is this one here. It says Firma Prog at the top, and it has a way to enter the menu. It kind of gives you some quick instructions here. Pretty simple. So first step, it says, is to turn your steering wheel all the way to the right. So you turn it and you hold. After five seconds or so, it'll say, enter menu two. All right. Same thing, but to the left. So we'll turn it left. We'll wait. And here we are, voila. So like I was saying, it essentially takes everything that is on the programmer that you can use with your ESCs and puts it on your radio. So let's give you a quick tutorial on how to navigate and use these menu options. All right, so let's say we wanna change the punch level, which is option number two. To do that, we pull the trigger and it's gonna go down to punch level four. This is kind of what I had it set up before. And then you turn the wheel either left or right to turn it up and down. So I'm gonna go right and it'll go to the next setting, level five. Or if you turn it left, it'll go down level four, level three, level two, and level one. One thing you'll notice as you're going through these is there's gonna be a little asterisk next to the option, essentially. That is the default option. So it's just kind of giving you an idea of what is defaulted on that ESC. And depending on the ESC that you're connected to, you're gonna have more or less options. Like let's say you're using the crawler ESC, the censored crawler ESC, you're gonna have a bunch of options. And I think this is a great option for that ESC because you are allowed to adjust drag brake settings and things like that on the fly while you're out on the trail. You don't have to drag around your little programmer box. It's all there, right there for you. Awesome stuff. So we'll go ahead and let's change this to punch level five. Again, we're gonna hit the trigger. We're gonna pull the trigger and it's gonna go down. You'll see the little arrows follow with it. And if you pull the trigger again, it's gonna go to the next page. We can keep on going. Let's say we need to change the motor rotation. Here you are. So if you are using the Firma uh, censored ESC, this is the only way to change the motor rotation. You can't swap the wires like you would with a conventional sensorless ESC. So keep that in mind if you're using that with this. Um, and then let's say we wanna keep going. 
And that's all the options we have with our Firma 100 amp we have here. That's okay. Let's just say that this is just a tutorial for you guys to be able to find out how to do this. All right. And if you push the trigger, that's gonna go up. So just kind of a quick little tutorial on that. If you push the trigger, it's gonna go the other way. And if you pull the trigger, those selection is gonna go up and down. So once you've made those selections, this is the last part. You go to save and you turn right. And you'll hear the ESC had just rebooted. And now we're back to the same, that screen right here. All right, now we're all done. So that, <clears throat> and if we wanted to go back into this menu, again, we just hold right and wait for five seconds. Hold left and wait for five seconds. And here we are. Again, you'll see that those settings are what I left them at. So obviously it did save and take the setting changes that I made. Awesome. So that's all you guys gotta do to use the Firma Prog menu on your Spectrum DX5 Rugged Pros and C radios. Again, you do need to update your radio. Check out those videos in the description below. And if you guys have any other questions or comments, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. This is Tom from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC signing off on this tech tip video. Happy driving, everybody.